My name is Daniel, and this is the Baz Uganda. A UPDF spy plane has crashed in Kasizis District, Western Uganda. The aircraft was used for reconnaissance missions in the ongoing military operations against Allied Democratic Forces, ADF, militants in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. The incident occurred on Thursday night. UPDF has, in recent years, witnessed increased cases of aircraft crashes, raising fears of mismanagement by the military's top brass. Contacted for a comment, Defence spokesperson Brigadier Felix Kulayigye said he was unaware about the accident. However, dependable sources said the UPDF Diamond aircraft has been helping Ugandan armed forces to locate ADF bases in DRC. The aircraft is specially designed for carrying multifunctional aerial sensors such as digital aerial cameras. It should be recalled in September 2022, at least 22 UPDF soldiers, including experienced combat operations officers, were killed when a UPDF helicopter crashed in East Democratic Republic of Congo after delivering logistics to Ugandan soldiers fighting the Allied Democratic Forces ADF insurgents in the region. The helicopter, which was primarily used for transportation, reportedly hit a tree shortly after taking off and crashed on troops on the ground, collecting food it had just delivered. In July this year, another UPDF helicopter, which was on routine operations in Karamoja sub-region, crash-landed. Last year, another two helicopters crashed in Fort Portal and Mitiana. In 2021, another UPDF jet ranger crashed at Lido Beach in Entebbe, killing Captain Caroline Busigny. The Entebbe crash happened six days after another UPDF helicopter came down, soon after taking off in Balidogal, Somalia. In 2020, Major Naomi Karungi, who was UPDF's most senior female pilot, perished alongside flight trainee Benon Wakola when their jet ranger reportedly hit a hill in Butambala district. Thank you for choosing the Baz Uganda for your latest trending news. Don't forget to subscribe and follow Milad's Milo Fula on TikTok. Thank you and bye for now.